this here super small mouth was caught, weighed, released, resumed feeding, regained two ounces, and recaught again all within two days. Another week and another facts of fishing FYI. The fishing news, views, and info you can't use show. What in the heck is happening in Texas? Straight out of an ice age, it seems the fish have gone prehistoric. Since January, there have been 12 fish over 13 pounds registered for the Legacy Class Share Lunker program. Eight of them have come in the last 10 days. Two 14 pounders in one day, not including a 1425 from Lake Conroe that absolutely obliterated a 22-year-old big bass to a record. This past Sunday, two 15s in one day, two largemouth lake records, including a drag screaming 1532 from Lake Travis and that jaw-dropping 1640 from OHIV that we reported on last week. Oh, sidebar, as if that's not enough, that particular fish is going to be featured in Millican Fishing's video this week that they're billing as the five biggest fish ever caught on camera. Five fish for 60 pounds. That's right, I didn't stutter. Five fish for 60 pounds. But it's not just largemouth. On February 20th, the OHIV Lake Record smallmouth was shattered when Joey Wynn caught this 625. But before Joey could even get the pictures of his famed fish framed, two days later on February 22nd, Ben Milliken voted a 6-6 and reset the lake record. Just when you think it can't get any crazier than that, two days after that on February 24th, before Milliken could even post the YouTube video, my boy LD. That's right, the LD to my MC. Luke Duncan catches a 6'8 and sets a new lake record smallmouth. Wow, doesn't get more nuts than that. Yes, it does. Turns out that LD 6'8 was the exact same fish as Millican 6'6". It was just two days older and two ounces heavier. So wait a minute, you're trying to tell me this here super small mouth was caught, weighed, released, resumed feeding, regained two ounces and recaught again all within two days? Exactly. So tell me how catch release does not work again. Crazy story, huh? But that's not all. Before Duncan even had a chance to brag about his big catch on an episode of LD and the MC, I'm hearing that his record has been beaten at least once, if not twice. For those of you trying to follow the bouncing ball that is the lake record, to the best of my knowledge, the unofficial lake record holder right now is Wyatt Franklin with a 7-6-0. Wow, finally it all makes sense to me why Joe Rogan moved to Texas. In other news, an iconic fishing brand has added their first pro staffer in over 45 years. Ugly Stick adds Elite Series Pro Matt Onum Robertson. Well, yeah. They stopped keeping score in little kids' soccer games, and now people are making life jackets for fish. This is real life, people. Stacey O'Shea helped a disabled goldfish by outfitting it with a customized life jacket so it wouldn't sink. Speaking of sinking, it turns out some things do. Lee Livesey caught one of those items while pre-fishing the Tennessee River Bassmaster Elite Series event last week. Speaking of which, this is the Snow Leopard. A creature that's very existence defies the odds. A cat so elusive it excels in environments that most could barely survive. Once it grabs a hold of its target, it never lets go. Violently tumbling down a cliff would kill most. But for this sick puppy, it's just part of the hunt. Tumble after tumble, hurdle after hurdle, never once loosening its grip. And that's exactly what Jeff Gustafson did this past weekend in Knoxville, Tennessee to win his very first Bassmaster Elite Series event with a four-day total of smallmouth Weighing in 63 pounds. Congrats, Gussie. For those of you keeping score, yes, this is only the second time that a Canadian has ever won a Bassmaster Elite Series event in the entire history of bass. And ironically, both of those wins happen the only time the Candy U.S. border has ever been closed. So... Screw you, COVID! Ring ding dong, ring a ding 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 dong, ring ding dong, ring a ding 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 dong, ting ding money ain't whatever you want to call them. 
they got another one this past week. That's right. With 36 pounds, 15 ounces on the final day of competition, Dustin Connell is the 2021 MLF Red Crest champion. Congrats, DC, and to all the top three. The real deal, Michael Neal was in second, and the king of the ding, Jacob Wheeler, in third. And let's just say with two out of the top three being the ring ding boys, it had them channeling their inner Gronk and Tom. Hey, going nowhere. We ain't going nowhere. Well, they might not be going anywhere, but we are. We're done for this week. We'll see you next week. Make sure to like, comment, subscribe before you leave the channel. Share our crappy little show with somebody. And a reminder, we upload every Monday, Wednesday, and Friday. So I'll see you Wednesday for LD and the MC. And f*** you, YouTube. You finally did it. You, you made me sound like a YouTuber. Just, just like a YouTuber with a lot less likes.